This kind of aggressive tax avoidance using transfer pricing applies across most sectors. It isn't peculiar to the extractive industries. You can look at pharmaceutical industries, you can look at media and communications, I mean very famously News Corp International uh, has set up offshore structures so complex that no one is able to work out what actually happens to them uh, and they end up paying no tax or little tax in the jurisdictions where they operate even though they are a very profitable organisation. Um, it applies to many of the uh, horticultural and agricultural exports out of Africa, uh, in fact to virtually any cross-border trades. This is, the, this is the most corrupting part of the whole thing. It's regarded not just as normal business practice, it's regarded as good business practice to use transfer tr pricing uh, to shift profit out of a high tax jurisdiction or even a medium tax jurisdiction into a zero tax jurisdiction. Uh, and from my point of view, this, this puts a, a challenge straight to the companies. The companies that claim to want to act as good corporate citizens uh, and adopt a corporate social responsibility agenda should begin by paying the taxes they, that are due on the profits they generate in the countries where they operate. In practice, you'll find very few companies that disclose what profits they earn in the jurisdictions where they operate and what taxes are due on those profits and what taxes are paid on those profits.